Hey everybody, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over my first impressions of using Holbein's acrylic gouache. I've used gouache in the past and I really love it. It's probably one of my favorite paint mediums to work with. So when I found out that Holbein have an acrylic gouache that combines the two together, I was very intrigued and I decided to give it a go. I went out and got a pack myself and uh, I started working on this piece that you're seeing on screen now called NY State of Mind. One thing that I learned quite quickly when using these paints is that they're super pigmented, which means they're so opaque. And that's obviously a characteristic of gouache in general, but I realized that these paints are probably the most pigmented and opaque paints that I've ever used you know I, I was really blown away by that and that meant that I didn't actually have to use a lot of paint because it's so uh, opaque I only have to really do one layer on the painting and uh, you will see that I don't really go over anything again it's kind of just like I put the paint down I mix it up it's uh, true to the color which is really really useful um, in the past I've used gouache you have it wet on the palette, you mix up the color and it, it looks like it's the right color. And then as soon as it dries on the canvas or the paper or whatever medium you're working on, it changes its color. But luckily, because these are so pigmented, they dry exactly how you're, you're using it. That's very cool. You don't even find that in acrylic, I don't think. So that was really cool to see. And I was very happy that I could have that accuracy when uh, painting. It also reminds me of uh, when I use my oil paints, um, that's pretty much true to what I'm mixing, you know. Um, so there's no change in the paint once it's drying, which is really cool. Um, one thing that I also love about this paint is that it pretty much behaves as acrylic as soon as it's dry. And that really takes about, you know, a day or 24 hours to fully dry and it kind of just sets as if it's uh, acrylic. In the past with gouache, when you use it, you will notice that, you know, two weeks after, three weeks after or a year after, it will still be um, absorbent to water, which means it can reactivate. And uh, that's not the best thing <laughs> when you finish a painting and then you accidentally spill some water on it and then it's completely ruined. So the great thing with this Holbein acrylic gouache is that you can use it and it will completely be set the next day. You won't have to worry about any water being splashed in it and uh, ruining your art and the hours that you put into it the day before. Because of this great characteristic that this paint has, it meant that I can use it on pretty much any medium. Um, maybe not canvas, but I did use it on a wood panel and that's something that's very new to me. I don't really work on uh, anything other than paper when I use gouache. Um, so it was kind of refreshing to use it on, on a wood panel where it kind of felt a bit more, you know, of an upgrade to what I've been used to in the past. Um, and because it does behave like acrylic after 24 hours or so, um, you know, you're pretty much good to go and you, you won't have that trouble of the reactivation of the paint. A lot of people in the past have asked what I use to seal my paintings and in this one I actually used a Dorland's wax medium and it's a very nice beautiful matte finish it, it brings to the painting and it pretty much protects it. It's very easy to put on, you just uh, you know have a paper towel, you rub it in to the canvas and you're good to go. But there you go guys, that's the finished piece. Uh, I do wanna quickly say that I'm not sponsored by Holbein in any way. I went out and bought these paints myself and I, I realized that they're pretty damn good and uh, I'm gonna be using them again. 
in my next pieces. Um, you know, I've actually already got on with um, some more paintings with this paint, and I, I'm I've been loving it, um, and I do recommend it to any artist who who wants that opaque kind of quality in their work. Um, it came out really cool. This painting will be a part of ABV Gallery's next exhibition called Six by Six and it will be opening on the 15th of April 2023 which is uh, this weekend if you're watching this on the time of upload. Links and everything to that will be in the description and if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.